Right, Stargazer for second half of the solo, hopefully the last of four videos. Right, so we got to that bit, that, that scale which is the fast run leading up to the next bit I'm gonna I'm gonna do the video about. Now this next part, I'm going to do this in a couple of sections. So the first bit of this next part like, is like the, the, the end of the solo, or the, probably the middle part of the solo. And it starts with that bend. So you hit, bend 17 to 19, 17, fret 17, bend up to two, like a two, two fret bend. So bend it at the bottom, hit it up twice. And that is it. That's as far as we're going in this little part, a part of the video. So it's, and there's three. The way I play it, whether it's correct or not. So you get that little quacky, little bit of vibrato at the top of the bend, and picking at the top of the bend as well. Then go, if that's 17, that must be 14, 15, 17, um, 15, hang on, so I'm playing it. I'm sort of starting on that sort of note, but I'm, I'm only using it as a sound. So the actual the actual flick is. But I play it like a flick. It's something like that. It's hard to play slow. I'm so, very sorry. I've got a bit of a... That's better. Right. I sneezed just before the before the video started, and um, I hadn't recovered. Right. So played at full speed then. And there's a bit of there's a bit of hammering on there, but where it is or not, I don't know. So it's uh, so that's where we got to last time with me explaining it, and then the the end of it is this. So it's 15, 14, 12. It's probably something like that. Play, just play fast, but hammering on, and then ending off on that forty. Um, sorry, thirteen and forty. Right, next bit is. So it's that's uh, G string, two, four, four, five, seven. B string five, seven, eight, five on the high E. 
Now this next bit is another tricky bit. I play it like this. No, I don't play it like that. I've just messed it up. It's I can't I can't get it right. Hang on. If I don't play it in one go, I, I lose my thread. something like that. So it's... really play it any slower than that. The last two notes, the those two, the those two up and down. So the first bit's that. And then that same bit I just played in between. Hang on. The bit that I explained from earlier on, and then and then start, and then to end off, it's this bit. Now he plays it on a slide. He sort of goes up, and I haven't got enough frets on this guitar to play it. Because the note, the, the note is off, off the, off the neck. So he plays it. Something like that. Something I, I can't remember how he plays that bit. But basically, it's, it's, it's just a, it's that, it's the same part of that. It's the same part of that scale. So if you if you know that scale, if you can get that scale in your head, you'll start to see the repetitive part of it. The notes. You'll start to see the notes. Sorry, I just thought I'd better check the video. I've lost lost track. Um, now I go I go to that 15 on the B, but it is actually the high note. I think it's down here somewhere. It's, it's that bit, but whether it, he might play on a slide, I don't know actually, because it does sound like he goes off the neck, and he only uses a 21 fret, uh, uh, sorry, yeah, 21 fret neck. He's got an old, he's, he uses a 70s um, strap with a bullet truss rod, so it's, it's it's definitely a 21 21 fret. So I think he must play it on a on a on a sort of go off off the neck. So that scale is. I, I play it, the end scale is this. If I explain that, you'll see where it joins up to the far scale. That's that, that bit there before it goes, you know, sort of in the middle of the solo. And so it's, uh, so that's on the G7, B5, B7, B8, E5, 7, E8, E10, E12, E14, E17, E15, it's the equivalent of that note, bent, but it's up here somewhere, it's off, it's off the neck, which you can do off, a, you can do with a slide, you can play off the neck, you can play, still, still play that note and you'll hear it. You can't, obviously, if you're off the fretboard when using your fingers. So hopefully, there's everything on there. As I say, the best thing I could advise people to do, if you search for the search Stargazer lesson, you'll 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 find the bloke that's uploaded some tab, which is a good guideline. I don't think it's totally accurate, but it's a good guideline. Obviously, listen listen to Stargazer on um, Rainbow Rising. Um, 
and marvel at the way he plays it. And um, and as I say, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. I'm, I'm only sitting here. Mm. COVID-19 and all that stuck in me house, so I'm, I'm only 